Welcome to the very first episode of Storytime with the L Train. first we have to explain where the name L train came from it was actually a nickname that was given to me while I was playing uh, baseball at Georgetown University my freshman year I was the closer on the baseball team and when I would come in towards the end of the game as many baseball players do uh, the team referred to me as LZ uh, by my last name so they would chant that out uh, but one of my teammates uh, was actually from Chicago, Illinois, and he said there was a train called the L train, which I uh, have later looked up, um, and so that name stuck. So instead of uh, them chanting LZ at the end of the games, that would turn into the L train. So that's where the persona was first initiated. And ever since that time, I've uh, basically adopted it as my alter ego. Uh, it's uh, actually been the name of my fantasy football team now probably for the last 20 years. My intent is to basically become a better storyteller. Um, I have a lot of experiences that I want to share and I believe I can uh, do so in an entertaining manner. Honestly, I would love your feedback on whether this is something that you guys uh, would promote for me to continue to do. Some stories will be comical. Uh, some stories will hopefully be inspirational. Uh, some stories will just be uh, me getting some things off my mind. In honor of Boston winning the World Series, I have an awesome Boston sports story. Actually, it's probably more of a Boston fan story. Uh, and if you're a, a Boston baseball fan, New York, uh, Philadelphia, basically any East Coast baseball fan can probably identify with the story. It was my freshman year. Um, it was my first time in Boston. Uh, we had a three game weekend series with Boston College and it was my first pitching experience at their stadium. And so the story was, uh, I was uh, told to get up in the bullpen. Um, I went to go get ready with my catcher, who was uh, actually my uh, roommate at the time, Mr. Steve Buckley. And in college baseball, uh, especially on the East Coast, uh, at any baseball game, there's a lot of fan activity, and it's usually from fans who are inebriated from drinking the majority of the afternoon. Um, so there's a lot of ribbing that goes on. So as I started to get warmed up, uh, they really started ripping into me. Um, I don't even remember what they were saying. I, I know it was really bad, uh, so much so that uh, my, my catcher, which was uh, my roommate at the time, uh, couldn't take it anymore. We, we were hearing in the bullpen all game long. So I was probably about two pitches in, and instead of throwing me the ball back, uh, my catcher actually threw it full speed over my head right into the into the stands where the fans were uh, that re were really working us really good. So um, we didn't have any other balls at the time. Um, so I had to get warmed up uh, without balls or at least uh, make it seem as though uh, I was warming up so the coach wouldn't get upset. And I went into the game uh, basically not warmed up at all. And as you could probably imagine, um, the performance uh, I would have had. So for all you East Coast baseball fans, kudos to you for really knowing how to get into the head of the opposing team. I hope you enjoyed the very first episode of Storytime with the L Train. Uh, if this is something you would like for me to continue, uh, please let me know. Uh, any uh, critical comments, I'll accept those. Any ribbing, I'll accept those. 
Um, but I do want to, if there's an audience for it, to continue this. Uh, so please share with all your friends and uh, let me know uh, what you think. You guys have a blessed day and congratulations, Boston.